Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I got to ask this question. How do I create a data entry form that I could have multiple people in at one time doing data entry so I can collect the data that I want to collect in the fastest time possible? And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's say that I've got to collect a bunch of data. You know, that's the, the, a particular date, the name of the person, email address, age, city, number of dogs, and all of that information. Now these are just formulas, so let's just ignore these for right now. Matter of fact, I'll get rid of those. But let's say I got to collect this for thousands and thousands of records, and I need people to help me. You don't want people banging on a spreadsheet and doing this, because it'll take way too long to do. What you want to do is create a Google form and you want to share that form with multiple people. And let me show you how to create the form. And while I'm in this sheet, I can go to Tools, Create a New Form. Now it's going to start from scratch with nothing. So I've got to fill it all out. So first I got to give it a name, got to give it a description. Now, my first question. My first question needs to be the, uh, the first field of the data set. The first field of the data set is the date. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put date right here, date. And then by default, the fact that I put the date there, it tells me it wants a date field. And so there's the date field that's gonna collect. And that's required, all of these fields should be required. And then the second field I need to collect, let's go look at that, is name. So I click right below here, I hit the plus and add a question. And I wanna change it to a short answer and I want to type in name. You don't want to make long field names. Short field names is what you want. And if you want um, them to give you more information, then what you need to do is here, and you can say description, and you can say tell, uh, type in the name of the fran animal friend, friends of animal, of the friend. Okay? Make that required. All fields should be required. Then the next set is email address. So I want to have their email address. Click down below, hit plus, and type in email address. Now, over here is a short answer, and I want to, again, I want to put right here a description, the email address of this friend. And the next, the next field is age. Hit the plus. Actually, I can do this. I can hit the sh duplicate button, and I can change this to say age, and I can change this to say the age of the friend, and a short answer is fine. Make that required. And then the next field is a city they're in. So I go back to my form. I hit duplicate here, and I can change this to city. I can type in this, change this to say the city of this friend, short answer is fine, required is fine, or all this, oh, that needs to be required. Make it required, see the little red the little red star, it means required, and I needed that one to be required as well. Go back to the end, let's see what's the next, and then the number of dogs, and then come down here, duplicate this, and type in number of dogs. Short answer, how many dogs do they have? and make it required. There we go. Now, that's the basic form. This is what it's going to look like. If I hit uh, the preview, it's going to you know, type in the date, type in the name, email address, age, city, and number of dogs. Now, there's a couple more things you might want to do to make this data entry project work way better. Let me go back to the set up the form. And I want to go to settings. First of all, responses, I want to know their email address. I want to know the email address of the person filling it out. I do not need to send them submissions. They don't need that. I can allow them the response edit. Let's say they typed in her fat fingered. I want them to be able to edit it. And then lastly, if I want them to be able to do lots of entry, and as long as I don't turn this on to limit to one response, then I, they will get prompted to submit another entry every time they submit an entry. And this will make this form way easier for them to use and, and way better for you to get the results that you want. So go back to my questions and now I can go preview it again 
and this is in real life. I'm testing it. So the uh, e this would be my email address. So that will put that there. And this would be the date, 03-13-22. The name of the person, Bill Adams. And the, and the email address of Bill, bill at google.com. How old is Bill? He's 56. Bill lives in advance. And Bill, the number of dolls he has is four. And then I can hit submit. And I can submit another. And I can submit that. So over and over and over again, multiple people can be using this form and submitting response after response after response. And when I, when they get done and you go back to the form, you can see there's been two responses so far and you can see who they came from and you can see that uh, the two responses came on the 11th and the 12th and this is all the data they put in. Now, better than that, if I go click on the spreadsheet here, view responses and sheets, there's the data we're collecting as more and more people are dropping in more and more data, then this just keeps growing on and on and on. And so this would be the best way to create a data entry form for, your, for people to help you collect the data you're trying to collect. I'm Teddy Burris your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.